we're going to talk about the retroperitoneum. It's called retroperitoneum because it's at the back. Okay? The retroperitoneum is at the back of the peritoneum cavity. This highlighted in yellow is a space which contains the kidneys, the IBC, the aorta, and look here on the right side, it also contains the adrenal glands. Okay? So this area is called the perirenal space. The anterior margin of this perirenal space is called the renal fascia. We have a renal fascia in the anterior portion. We have a renal fascia in the posterior portion. And those two fascia would merge here to become the lateral conal fascia. The other team name for the anterior renal fascia is the gerotus fascia, while the, for, for the posterior renal fascia is the zucker candles um, fascia. So that's the perirenal space. Another space is found anterior to this space, and we call that the anterior Para renal space. Okay. You can see here that it contains the descending colon, the pancreas, the duodenum, and the ascending colon. Notice here that the margin of the anterior pararenal space is formed by the renal fascia, the anterior renal fascia here in pink. Anteriorly, the, an, the anterior pararenal fascia is formed by the, its margin is formed by the peritoneum. There. Now, what about the posterior Okay. the posterior pararenal fascia here. The margins of the posterior pararenal fascia is also formed by a renal fascia. Here in green is the posterior renal fascia. The posterior margin of the posterior pararenal space is formed by the transversalis fascia okay and it also has its margins formed by the peritoneum and the lateral conal fascia Note here that going back to our yellow colored area here, which contains the kidney, and this is called the perirenal space. On the sagittal image here on the right, we can see that superiorly it's closed, but inferiorly it's open. Therefore, if you have abnormalities here on the top, in the retroperitoneum, it can spread here in the pelvic extraperitoneum spaces. Aside from this route, there are also other potential ways of spread. Let's go back to our renal fascia, the anterior renal fascia here, the posterior renal fascia here, and both of them would merge to form the lateral conal fascia. 
if there is pathologic fluid, there may be opening of this interfascial planes, meaning in between the fascia are potential spaces which may open up. Okay? So here, in the anterior renal fascia, it's going to be called the anterior interfascial plane. In the posterior, if there is dissection or there is opening of that interfascial plane, it is going to be called the posterior interfascial space. Okay? The third one, third space, which may open up during pathologic fluid collection is the lateral conal space. The other names for this um, opening up of the anterior interfascial space is the retromesenteric space because it's behind the mesentery while this one the opening up of the posterior interfascial space is called the retro renal space so this potential fascial spaces would allow the extension of fluid collection from the retroperitoneum to the extraperitoneal pelvis.